Republican Congressman Tom Reed of New York. Congressman, thanks for coming in. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. The president, he isn't budging on the $5 billion amount, at least not budging right now, I guess we could say. Um, he, when he says that it's, a, he's totally willing to shut down the government and also says, and I'll read the full quote, I will tell you, politically speaking, that issue is a total winner. Is shutting down the government a winner? Uh, obviously, uh, th that is something to be avoided, in my opinion, from a political perspective. But you know, what the president is saying, and I agree with, is that we need to secure the border. We need to get the border functioning again. And if we're going to have this political fight and we're going to have this fight on the Capitol Hill, maybe this is the time to have it. And I appreciate it. Is this a game of chicken at this point? You, we've been through this. I don't even sure. know if we can count anymore. Is, are we in a game of chicken, or do you think there's a real chance that the government's going to see a partial shutdown? I, I, I think we're going to be able to avoid uh, a shutdown, but obviously this is about negotiations between yeah. uh, the White House and the House and the Senate, and I think we're going to be able to bridge this difference because people recognize, as members, they recognize we have a problem at the southern border. It is not secure. It is not functioning, and they need the resources in, in order to make it so. Uh, uh, would, you, would you accept less than $5 billion in this funding bill in order to keep the government from partially shutting down? Well, of course. I mean, obviously the number, uh, it needs to be reasonable. The number needs to be based on what is requested by the officials on the ground, the frontline individuals that know what's best to where this hardworking taxpayer dollar needs to go. And if $5 billion is more than they need, then obviously open to uh, reducing that number or potentially if it needs more. Uh, it's all about securing the border, making the country safe, but also making sure the border is functioning uh, for the folks that are trying to come here legally. Does it does it need to go specifically to building the wall, or are you talking about border security? I think we're, we're talking about border security. Obviously, a wall is part of border security. That is a structure uh, that needs to be part of the portfolio in order to secure the border. Do you think the, the president border. understands that, that it's not just that. about the wall? I, I do believe that. You know, in uh, watching uh, the conversations and watching his cabinet uh, officials, uh, this is bigger uh, than just a wall. It's not about the physical structure per se. It, it, that's important. That needs to be part of this solution. But we need more than just physical structures. We need technology. We need people. We need resources. We need to be able to deploy those across the spectrum. What about breaking up the $5 billion into pieces, like $2.5 billion coming in the coming year, $2.5 billion in the following year? I've heard that being floated. Well, there's some discussion about that, kind of advanced uh, uh, authorization and appropriation in order to get it taken care of so you don't have to go through this uh, multi-step process each year. Um, that's something, I think, to be considered, but I think fundamentally we're at the point where let's allocate the resources. If it's $5 billion, let's do it. Let's do it now. Get it done. Get it out of the House. Get it to the Senate. And then Chuck Schumer is going to have a, a hard decision to make. Is he going to shut down the government in regards to uh, what is necessary to keep us safe at the southern border, or is he going to negotiate and get this taken care of? I think they'll negotiate, and we'll get through this very easily. Do you think that, well, the question is then, of course, is the president going to negotiate? But neither you nor I could get into his head ever, <laughs> especially at this moment. Let me ask you about another big issue that is very important to so many Americans. GM announcing these massive layoffs and plant closures. The president is now threatening to cut all federal subsidies to GM in retaliation, essentially. It's not entirely clear what subsidies he's actually talking about. Do you know? Uh, I, I don't know exactly. I, I know there's some tax uh, credits being on the tax writing committee here in the, the House of Representatives. <laughs> but doesn't like the that help the, and things like doesn't that. that help the consumer and doesn't have anything to do with the company? Well, it obviously passes through the company and it makes uh, that project, those uh, vehicles, that much more attractive to manufacture. But at the end of the day, you know, what I think we're dealing with here is a question for GM to answer. We bailed out GM uh, as with hardworking taxpayer dollars. Why are they turning their back on America today? That is not the way we should have a company act here in our backyard. And I think the president's right to ask the hard questions of GM to say, why are you doing this? These are hardworking Americans that stood with you during your dark times. Let's stand with the American workers going forward. Do you, so you do think that GM should be punished? I mean, they, and I, and I ask that because they say they're making a business decision. They say this is responding to the market and the way the industry is changing. No, I, I can appreciate that, but I believe if there are uh, preferences that are given to GM, uh, they should be on the table and say, okay, if that's the case, then uh, you're on your own. By shutting down a factory, by shutting down and closing uh, these facilities, I think the president's absolutely correct. The hard questions need to be asked of GM, say, what are you doing with these jobs? Where are they going? And bottom line, if you're not going to build them here in America, well, then, therefore, uh, we in, in Congress shouldn't give you any type of preferential treatment. Congressman, thanks for coming in. Much more to discuss soon. Thank you. Great to be with you. Thanks so much.